right, this is third grade, module six, lesson six. And in this lesson, students are going to be giving uh, various line plots. And then they're going to be having to learn how to read that line plot, understand what kind of information that line plot is telling them, and then answer some questions based on that line plot. So let's get started. All right, so we've been given this line plot, and it says Miss Leal measures the heights of the students in her kindergarten class. The heights are shown on the line plot below. And now we're, we have all these questions that we're supposed to answer, but before we look at the questions, let's take a look at the line plot. So parents and teachers, we want our students to just take a moment and read the title. Okay, height of students in Mrs. Leal's kindergarten class. We want them to see the label down here. Oh, these are in inches. These are not pounds. These are not in meters or centimeters. These are in inches. And then we can see that each X represents one student. Uh, because in previous videos, we knew that uh, each little symbol might represent two or four or ten students. So it's important to recognize that each X, in this case, represents one student. So the first question, how many students did uh, in Mrs. Leal's class are exactly 41 inches tall. So we're going to look for 41, and we can see that there are four students who are exactly uh, 41 inches tall. And then how many students are in Mrs. Leal's class all together? So that means we have to count all the X's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Boom! There are 20 students in Miss Leal's class. And that's how we know. It's because we counted all the X's. And then the last one. Nope, not last one. C. How many students are more than 42 inches? So we're not going to count the 42s, but we're going to count all of these guys way over here. And I'm going to leave that to you guys to count. And then lastly... Uh, Miss Leal says that for the class pictures, students uh, for the class picture, students in the back row must be at least 42 and a half inches tall. So how many students are that? So at least now parents and teachers, some serious vocabulary. At least, at most, exactly. These are all words that you might want to put on a word wall, especially for your English language learners. At least means. 42 and a half inches is good and higher. So we know that we're going to count these five, plus these three is eight, plus one more is nine. So this answer would be nine because at least 42 and a half inches is an important little piece of um, terminology. And the last slide for this video uh, Mr. Stein's class is studying plants. They plant seeds in clear plastic bags and measure the lengths of the roots, and the lengths of the roots in inches are shown in the line plot below. So, parents and teachers, we want our students to take a moment and look at this line plot and read the title. Oh, length of plants, roots. We know that each X represents one plant, and that these numbers down here represent inches. And, and that's the idea. We A lot of information can be gleaned from this line plot just by reading the titles and the labels and whatnot. So first question, how many roots did Mr. Stein's class measure and how do we know? Well, that means we're going to have to count all of these X's and that's going to give us that answer. For B, Teresa says that the three most frequent, and there's a, an important vocabulary word uh, that you might want to put on our word wall, especially for your English language learners. Most frequent measurements in order from shortest to longest are. And then three and a quarter, three and two quarters, and three and three quarters. So the idea is um, we're going to look for three and a quarter. Where's three and a quarter? There's three and a, a quarter. And then three and two quarters is right here. And then three and three quarters is right here. Those are the most frequent measurements in order from shortest to the longest. Do we agree? And the answer is no, we don't agree. Uh, these two are the big ones, but this one should not be included. Actually, three inches should be included. These are the three most frequent measurements because they've got the most votes. It's kind of like, you could think of it like votes. And then the last one. 
Gerald says that the most common measurement is 14 quarter inches. Oh my goodness, 14 quarter inches. Is he right? Well, we can see that the most common vote is right here, three and two quarters. So now what we need to do is figure out three and two quarters. Is three and two quarters the same as 14 quarter inches? Variety of ways that we could solve this. I think my favorite, especially for third grade, is to draw a picture. So let's start with zero. And let's just arbitrarily label that one, two, three, four, and I'm going to stop right there, although that would keep going. And now we're going to label each of these into quarters. We're going to cut them each into four pieces, because that's what, that's what quarters are. It means there's quarter, uh, each hole has been cut into four equal-sized pieces, four equal-sized pieces, four equal sized pieces. Now where is three and two quarters? Well, three and two quarters would live right here. That's three and two quarters. So now we have to see if that's equal to 14 quarters. So we're just going to count. One, two, three, four quarters equals one whole. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the answer is, yes, he is indeed correct. And that wraps up third grade, module six, lesson six. We're given some line plots, and then we have to basically interpret the information in that line plot.